Hello and welcome to this tutorial by Plugins 4D. Today we're going to take a look at Mega Scans in R20. So in R20 we come into the Edit Preferences, and from R20 onwards we've got the Mega Scans in its own section here. In R17, 18, and 19 this would have been under a 4D Publish menu item here, but from R20 onwards we've split them out. So now you go to Mega Scans, and here you just choose your Mega Scans folder. This is what my Mega Scans folder looks like. I've just got the zip files in there and I've extracted them. So it's only going to look at the extracted ones here. These are the extracted Quicksort Mega Scans. You notice here I also have a 4D Publish folder. This gets generated automatically when you open up the content view in Cinema 4D to view your Mega Scans. And it creates a little thumbnails. So you can just ignore that, but that's generated automatically for you. Just to make things a little bit faster when working with the Mega Scans. Okay, so we'll close that down. Now we want to just open up the Mega Scans from the Plugins 4D Mega Scans. And I'll bring up this content view. We can resize the images there. And these are all the Mega Scans from that folder. And to load them into Cinema 4D, it's as easy as just double clicking. And it'll load in the geometry. It'll actually create what we've created a Mega Scan object. And we'll talk about that in a second. But loads in, creates the Megascan object, loads in the geometry, creates the material, and loads the textures into the appropriate channels automatically for you. So let's have a look at that now. We've just loaded in that tree. And if we have a look at this material, we'll see that the material has been loaded in. And it's got a color channel loaded in. It's got a bump, and it's got the normal setup as well. And you can turn these off as well, because you don't really need both of those on, but we've just brought them all in anyway. And later on, if anyone has any particular workflow that they really want to use and uh, put things into different channels, just let us know. We are more than happy to go in and make a better workflow for you to assign these where they should go. Anyway, we'll jump back into this now. Let's have a look at these options for this mega scan. So you can notice there it's got the JSON file. That's the file that it's referring to on in that folder that we just looked at. And we've got some other options down here. So let me just turn on the wireframe display here. So here you can see the mesh is quite dense. So this is the high resolution or original mesh for this mega scan. But if we want to work in our editor a little bit faster, we can just change this down to the lowest layer below detail. We can just work with it like that. As you notice as we go up, actually the level of detail 5 is the lowest in this system. So we can have uh, level 5, and that's the lowest, or we can have the original, which is the highest detail. You can see it's taking a little bit of time now to load it back in. Okay, there it goes. But we're going to switch that back to level 5. So when we're working in Cinema 4D, we want a low level resolution there. But when we render, we want to use the original. So when I click render now, it's going to actually load in the original mesh, swap it out for this one, and use that to do the final rendering. Now you may not want to work with this interface here. I mean, you can just right click and you can uh, current state to object it. But you might not want to work with that at all. You may be happy with just bringing in the original mesh and the texture in one go. So you can actually do that as well. Let me just delete both of these. We'll bring that Mega Scans folder back up. And let's say we just want to bring in this rock here. We can either go, so now I'm right clicking. So double click will load it in. If you right click, you can choose Load Mega Scan, which does the same thing as the double click. Or you can click Load Model. This will load in an object directly and it won't create the mega scan object for you. It will do the same thing. It's going to load in the material and assign it, but it just does not create that mega scan object. So here you see we've got a plain polygon object. Let me get rid of that wires there again. We'll see we've got the rock there. And we'll just see what that looks like when we render it. Now you can see the high detail rock there that we've brought in. Okay, the other option we've got just delete these, is to just bring in the material. So for some reason you may want to just use the material. So you can right click and go create material and it's just going to create the material in your scene and it's going to assign everything where it's meant to go. Okay so the other option we've got here is these two ones called use as stamp and use as stencil. So these are actually for the painting system in 4D paint. So let me just quickly set something up here. I'm going to create a sphere the material view. I'm going to create a single material for it. Then I'm going to go up and choose the paintbrush. You notice I've already selected it there. If I go down to the paintbrush here, let me clear that 
And so we'll just check here. So we've got the paintbrush selected and nothing in the stencils is there. And if I go right click and I'll use a stencil, it's going to load that image in and use it as a stencil. So now I can brush that down onto my model. And if we want to, we can also use it as a stamp. So perhaps this one will be good as a stamp. So let's go use as stamp. And it disables the stencil, enables the stamp, and puts the image into the stamp. So now we can paste that rock down onto our model. Perhaps we want this one as a stamp. Maybe we want the trees as a stamp. Who knows? Maybe we want to put some of this bark of this. So let's use that as a stencil. And we'll position that down here. And we'll put some moss down the bottom of our tree. And maybe on the top. Okay, so there's the tools for the mega scans. Now the painting stuff that I just showed you there is only comes with 40 paint and also the Pro Bundle. So it does not come with mega scans at all. The only thing that comes with the mega scans just by itself as an individual plugin is what I showed you initially with those first menus up there. So these last two are working with the 40 paint if you had that.